Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have a super exciting drink all the way from the UK. So we have a little thing of Iron Brew. Mm -hmm. Brewed in Scotland. That's right. Uh, this was sent to us from a viewer. Yes. And so we really appreciate that. Never feel like you have to send us anything, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I can't remember what any of you said about this. It's been a while and we've had several comments about, have you tried this yet? I feel like in my bones, some people mentioned to try it warm. So we're gonna ask you if that, you Yeah, know. cause I don't, I don't remember that. But my memory is shot. So. Yeah, so let us know. <laughs> let us know if you did say that. And if you did, we're going to save some and maybe heat some up and give it a try. But I can't remember. It looks orange to yes. me. I mean, obviously it is in color. But is it in flavor? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember I don't, anything. I have no I don't preconceived think notions so, but at I don't, all. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I do know that we did try a hard candy or a boiled sweet uh, mm -hmm. that um, was iron brew flavored. But... Never have we ever tried this. That's right. So let's give the old sniff test. Sniff test. Oh, it's not orange. Ah, okay. It kind of smells like some like an energy drink it, from like Japanese. It's very like, sweet. It, there's drink. almost like a bubble gum sent to it or yeah. something i don't know something very familiar sorry you have to forgive our americanness i don't <laughs> i don't know what this smells like but it smells good it smells like something i want to drink that's for sure yeah the smell of kind of i don't know red bullish maybe uh, yeah kind of Ooh, that's nice mm, i like the carbonation to it me too it's sweet, but not overly sweet. Mm-hmm. And it does kind of have an underlying bubblegum flavor to it. It, I don't know exactly what the flavor is. So no, if you know, let us know in the comments. It tastes like candy, though. Yeah. It really tastes like candy. I feel like this is one of the things that they've told us in the comments has been around forever and ever and ever. Well, at least since and, 1901. And I can see why. I yeah. mean, that's gotta that's be tasty. A, a favorite. Like, kids, adults mm -hmm. alike. And now I'm very sad that we only have that small little bottle. Oh, I could see drinking this on the regular. Oh, me too. Me too. I like the carbonation to it. Yeah, it's really carbonated, which I don't yeah. always like, but there's something about this mm -hmm. that I do like the bubbles. I'm putting the lid on yes. so you can save it. Put a lid on it. Tell <laughs> us in the comments if I hallucinated that. You, Some of you said to try it warm. I feel like in my bones, somebody said, try it warm. And like if you're like that people do that when they've been just to enjoy in general. But I feel like some people said maybe when you're sick, which we have been. So I'm just wondering if we're confusing that with like Vimto or the Ribena. Because oh. I know Ribena, we were told to try it warm. but That could be. Uh, Here's I don't know. what. Let us know. I'm putting this in the refrigerator. It's carbonated, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna wait too long, but we'll see. We'll put this video up right away and then, <laughs> and then act accordingly. If you say try it warm, then maybe we'll do a little short or another second little video of us trying yeah. it warm. I love the flavor. Yeah, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy it. And like I said, you look at this, or at least I do, and think that's got to be orange, and it's not. Yeah, it's just it's not. sweet like candy, and as soon as it hit my tongue, I remember trying the candy. It's mm -hmm. like, oh yeah. Yeah. It's good. I would yeah. love to have more of that. Yeah. <laughs> I you, wish we could get it here. Yeah, I wish. And maybe th this is maybe it exists and we just don't know about it. I can see that in a gum. Oh yeah. Oh for too. sure. I think that would be a really good flavor. Yeah. Anyway. Delicious. How would you rate it? I would give it I don't know, eight and a half, I think. Can you remember compared to like Vimto or Ribena, how you would let's say Vimto, because Vimto's <laughs> Well, I can't I remember. I don't want to insult anybody, but I really like this, I think. 
I can't remember. Uh, we need to get them all. Let's get all the drinks and get all line the them drinks. all up. This has been a, a really long time. I like this very much. All right, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being my favorite beverage I've ever had ever in my life. This is probably, and I don't know what, you know, that would be. I know my go-to is Diet Mountain Dew, but um, this is way up there with some like pineapple sodas we've had and things that I've just really, really, really loved. Yeah. This is probably a nine, maybe a nine and a half for me. Nice. That's yeah, nice. really enjoy it. Feel free to send us all the Iron Brew. And here's the thing, <laughs> I don't think we've seen it anywhere. We uh, know no. now that we can get locally Vimto and Ribena and you know a few other things, um, but I've never seen this out in the wild. I've no. never seen it, even when we've went to Chicago and there's a little place that we like, you know, Cost Plus World Market, we've mentioned it a million times, uh, that we get a lot of our international stuff from. I don't know that we've ever seen this there. Might only be able to get it at Jungle Gyms. Oh. <laughs> prepare yourselves. We gotta prepare ourselves. We're going to go to Jungle Gyms International Market sometime. Sometime. Sometime in the near future. And it is huge. It has an old Disneyland monorail. It has <laughs> like animatronic like things. It, it has things hanging from the ceiling. It's huge. It's like an amusement park and a grocery store combined. combined kind of a situation. Yeah, you may have seen it in some other channel. Yeah, and if you, well, a lot of other channels, and if you haven't seen it and you're curious, go look it up um, because we're super excited. Yeah. We, we gotta take all of our money from our piggy banks to go there though <laughs> because it's, yeah. they do have a regular grocery store and the thing is, is I've heard that what you think you have in your grocery store for salsa, let's say, your nor like just take a normal thing, coffee, salsa, you know, what you insert whatever, that they have all the brands and all the things in the regular part of the grocery store, but then they have an international section where they have aisles upon aisles of not just things from the UK, but from from everywhere even yeah. like teeny tiny little countries and stuff you right. can get things from yeah. which we're so excited so yeah we gotta like i said save a little bit of uh, cash <laughs> and uh have the roads be clear have us be clear yeah. and uh we plan to go check that out so anyway thank you nicola who sent it to us thank you so so very much yeah, thanks we appreciate it we sure and do. we're back we're happy to be back. We had so many plans for 2022. Now we just gotta play a little catch up for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Just gotta make up for a couple of weeks. So if you're not following us on social media, please come find us. Now, if you love Iron Brew, yes. or trying new things, uh -huh. or the UK, yeah. or Scotland in particular. For sure. Or Nicola for sending this yes. to us, or us. Or the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. Yeah. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.